From the ancient realms of Chinese mythology to the distant galaxies of anime, two legendary figures stand tall as none have grasped the imagination of strength as much as the Monkey Kings. On the one hand, Chinese mythology's fighting Buddha, and on the other, the universe's last hope in the legendary Super Saiyan. On a journey to the west and on a journey for the Dragon Balls, who produced the stronger warrior, the great sage equal to heaven, or the light in the darkness, Sun Wukong versus Sun Goku. Yo, what's up guys, it's Divine and Kazi. Before the video starts, we wanna share how we turned nothing into something from zero followers to over 1.2 million combined followers across all of our platforms. Our Discord servers are one-way ticket to online stardom. Learn from successful YouTubers that started when we were 17 and we were able to buy a brand new C8 and accumulate over a million followers across TikTok and YouTube. We'll teach you how to create viral content, grow your audience, and even make a ton of money doing what you love. Plus exclusive perks, shout one-on-one -on -one chats with us and so much more but remember this isn't for everyone only those who are ready to rise above the rest check out our tiktok shop account where we're promoting sick products with free shipping now where were we oh yeah sun wukong a god born from an immortal stone bathed in the energies of heaven and earth with golden eyes that pierce the skies of heaven as we learn the meaning of life from a god who can never die and no matter how many monsters on earth gods in heaven or demons in hell stand against him, the Monkey King will not die. Life is such a beautiful thing that not even the Buddha can take it from his hands. On his journey, Sun Wukong mastered the art of Taoist medicine, purging all illnesses from his body and achieving his first form of immortality. But this wasn't enough to satisfy his insatiable thirst for eternal life. Seeking further means he consumed pills of longevity, drank the immortal celestial wine, and the golden elixir of life. Still, his quest continued. Wukong ventured to the celestial garden where trees bore legendary heaven peaches, with each one of these peaches granting another layer of immortality. In his hunger for eternal life, he devoured the entire orchard. To ensure that death could never claim him, he traveled down to hell and crossed his name out of the Book of Death, sealing his fate. No matter what was written, no matter what fate may hold, the Monkey King will never die. Becoming known as the Monkey awakened to the void spoken as Sun Wukong. The gods of heaven became enraged that a mere mortal would go to such lengths to defy death and fate. In his defiance, Sun Wukong proclaimed himself as the sage equal to heaven. Mocking and challenging the gods themselves, he declared that his strength rivaled all of theirs combined. Sparking with outrage among the celestial beings, in response, Heaven declared war against Sun Wukong, determined to bring him down. But Wukong, fully aware of the price of immortality, knew that the only way to preserve his life, others would die. Thus, the Monkey King prepared for battle, knowing that survival demanded nothing less than defeating all of the gods. Sun Wukong, in his unrelenting quest for immortality and supremacy, faces off against the entirety of the Heavenly Pantheon. 600 gods and 28 constellation deities rose up to challenge him, including the mighty Hercules, who is said to possess infinite strength, capable of lifting the entire universe on his back. But even the might of Hercules was no match for the Monkey King. In the end, the title Sun Wukong had once claimed, the Sage Equal to Heaven, proved inaccurate for the gods were far too weak in comparison. With the celestial forces defeated, Sun Wukong continued his journey growing even stronger with each step. His might had reached a point that he could redirect planets and stars, pull the moon down with his bare hands, jump over the entire universe and lift the infinite Milky Way galaxy over his head. With just a regular galaxy spanning over 100,000 light years containing 100 billion planets, and 250 billion stars. Sun Wukong possesses a legendary ability known as the 72 Transformations, which grants him not only the power to transform into literally anything he wants, but also an additional 72 lives. To defeat him, one would have to find a way to kill a god with conceptually infinite strength, hundreds of layers of immortality, then do it over and over again 72 times in a row. Sun Wukong's senses are even godlike, as he can hear across the entire realms of heaven and hell, and his eyes can discern truth of all things. 
He can detect good and evil, and even claims he has the ability to see the entire world. His body is covered with 84,000 hairs, each one of them transforming into anything he wants, like weapons, clones, or even living beings. He can also create exact replicas of his opponents, matching their strength and power instantaneously in his battle against the deity Prince Nocha. A deity who was consistently changing forms to increase his power, Wukong simply laughed and mimicked his transformations before ultimately defeating him. Having mastered the Taoist way, Sun Wukong commands an array of mystical powers, with one of them being able to summon mortals to his side and divine beings to fight along with them. This mastery is demonstrated when he calls upon the Northern Dragon King, a powerful celestial being to aid him in his battle. This ability further solidifies Wukong's status as not just only a warrior, but a master of the divine arts capable of rallying cosmic forces to his cause. Wukong has defeated beings who can destroy all of Earth, Heaven, the 18 layers of Hell, and the entire universe with a mere whistle. However, his power extends beyond the physical, having vanquished entities stated to be non-existent, proof that even abstract or unreal isn't safe from the sage equal to Heaven. He can summon storms that rage across the entire globe and can only be harmed if he wants to be. He can change his size to fill the entire universe or shrink to the size of a hair, and even the de-immortalizing furnace wasn't enough to kill him and only made him stronger. When Sun Wukong stormed the Dragon King's palace, he demanded a weapon worthy of his immense power. The Dragon King recognized Sun Wukong's formidable presence and provided him with the Rui Jinku Bang, also known as the Power Pole. Originally, it was used to measure the depths of the ocean, weighing an astonishing 16,000 pounds, and this weapon was uniquely suited to Wukong's strength. The Power Pole can increase its versatility and change its size at will. It could shrink to the size of a needle or reach to pierce the skies of heaven. After defeating all of the gods in the afterlife, only one being remained who could match Wukong's strength, the Buddha himself. The Buddha offered Wukong a challenge. If he could leap out of the Buddha's hand, the Jade Emperor's throne would be his. Wukong accepted the challenge and somersaulted across all of creation. However, when he landed, he learned the truth that he never left the Buddha's hand because all of creation resides within it. Buddha sealed Wukong in the heart of the mountain, allowing him to be released only after 500 years. Sun Wukong realized that in order to stop his desire for life, that he would need strength like that. Strength to be perfect. The strength of Buddha. After a long journey becoming more and more powerful and lifting mountains that represent the infinite cosmic sky, Sun Wukong reached it. He reached perfection. Nirvana. Achieving the state of ultimate enlightenment in this transcendent state, he became equal to the supreme deity above all other gods, the sage over heaven, Buddha Wukong. His journey is complete and compiled into one body, embodying the highest form of wisdom and power, standing as a celestial being of unparalleled strength. Nirvana in traditional Buddhism represents the pinnacle of enlightenment, standing inaccessibly beyond the concept of samsara. In the Buddhist cosmology, which encompasses seven spatial and temporal dimensions, these realms transcend one another, forming a complex structure of existence. Nirvana occupying the highest and most inaccessible peak is beyond each and every one of these realms. Samsara, the karmic cycle of life, death, and rebirth, governs all of existence within these traditions. Each dimension and realm, including the vast multi-layered structure of the Buddhist cosmology, falls within the cycle of Samsara. By transcending samsara, one escapes the endless cycle of life and death, tasting a state of existence that is independent from these constructs. The ultimate transcendence reflects the essence of nirvana, existing beyond the limitations imposed by the cycle of life and rebirth, reaching a state of pure enlightenment and liberation. Wukong having obtained enlightenment and transcending samsara, the god realms and formless realms standing beyond even the fundamental concepts of dharma, Dharma, a cornerstone in both Buddhism and Taoism, represents the path of truth and the natural order of the universe. It embodies principles that govern cosmic and individual existence, including the Eightfold Paths in Buddhism. Unlike dualistic perspectives that view forces as oppositional, Taoism views these opposites as interconnected and mutually beneficial, contributing to the universe's harmony. Upon reaching Nirvana, individuals also obtain Atman, in Hindu and Buddhist philosophy, Atman is the ultimate goal of the Buddha, able to achieve near-omnipotent strength, 
embodying a transcendence that surpasses all cosmic truths and principles. Sun Wukong having achieved such profound enlightenment and transcending all cosmic boundaries, stands as one of the strongest beings not only in his universe, but across all of fiction. As you're fighting an immeasurably immortal god with 72 lives, 84,000 hairs, billions of clones, and infinite power, overall, Sun Wukong would scale to high outer versal. Who could possibly stand up to challenge this? There's only one way to get them off our back. And I think I know how. Goku. <laughs> That's sure. it. Okay. A Saiyan warrior fleeing from an exploding world who vowed to be the strongest fighter in the universe. Who would have known how far that dream would have taken him, as his strength has set the bar for all others. Son Goku, even from the beginning, was powerful enough to defeat Vegeta, who could obliterate the entire Earth, with Earth and Dragon Ball being confirmed to have a diameter of 4 billion kilometers, which is over 100,000 times larger than our Earth, or over 900 times larger than the Sun. With the energy required to destroy this region, reaching into solar system levels of energy. Goku trains to get even more strength as he defeats the Emperor of the Universe Frieza as a Super Saiyan who he himself was stated to be able to destroy the entire universe and a power more terrifying than death itself. Goku surpassed the combination of the past generation and the perfect android cell whose energy was stated to be infinite and can wipe away the solar system in a single attack as his power even can stretch across the entire universe. With even the personification of evil falling short of Son Goku now, a being capable of screaming out of dimensions and crushing the universe with alternate dimensions, as Kid Buu was even stated that he could destroy the Grand Kai's world, which is a multi-galactic planet, with the energy required to destroy a planet almost the size of a universe being octillions of times universal, as Goku as a Super Saiyan 3 had power that could be felt from the Supreme Kai's planet, which exists outside the universe. Goku later dives into an energy far beyond beyond any mortal as he battles against the god of destruction Beerus where their punch is increasingly becoming more devastating as just the residual energy from their clashes being a threat to the entire universe 7 macrocosm with the macrocosm having multiple infinitely sized realms and dimensions with the afterlife in particular being stated to be based off Asian mythology and only connects to the living world on only the most metaphysical level as it states that the afterlife transcends the dimensions that cannot be perceived by the mortal world as Goku now not only being able to destroy this, but the entire universe that would make him outer versal in nature. As he absorbs the divine power of a god into his base, as the new godly power is all his. Goku becomes even stronger as he trains with a literal angel to mix the golden light of a super saiyan and the burning hot aura of a god, producing a power cold as ice, super saiyan blue. Goku is able to use it to defeat characters like Fu Zamasu who was stated to be able to have strength with no end and is a threat to all parallel worlds. Goku stacks on his Kaioken times 10 and defeats the Universe 6 assassin Hit who can literally jump forward in time and claims he could defeat Infinite Zamasu who literally became an abstract being who merged with completely separate parallel multiverses if he only had one more Sensu Bean. Goku at this point has eclipsed every single Dragon Ball Z movie villain with characters like the legendary Super Saiyan Broly who can wipe out South Galaxy's super cluster which is stated to have innumerable and boundless stars, Harunagarn, who was named a god of destruction and can bring about the end of the entire universe, Garlic Jr. who can create fifth dimensional hyperspaces, and even Janemba, who can warp the reality of the entire afterlife and merge the gap between life and death itself. Goku enters into the tournament of power where 10 fighters across 8 universes fight to save their world from destruction, as Goku is now face to face with the pride of Universe 11, with Jiren being so powerful powerful that he's stated to have a power that transcends time and can stop Super Saiyan God punches with a single finger, with these punches alone being capable of obliterating billions of universes casually. Jiren even glares away a Universe 7 Spirit Bomb and it looks like he's won. Falling down into his own attack, the light finally goes out and it looks like the dream is over. 
standing at the inaccessible peak in a form beyond all the gods in paradise stands the hope of all 12 universes, a savior with the form from heaven, Omen Ultra Instinct Goku. Goku with his newly found Omen is able to close the gap between him and Jiren as his power is able to shake across the entire infinite world of Void, with the Void itself being stated to be beyond the concept of space and time as Goku unlocks Ultra Instinct two more times. Once to defeat a universal fused warrior with bottomless power and the second is to save the seventh from the pride of the eleventh. Goku is starting to learn how to control his power as his attacks are becoming sharper and more devastating, eventually closing his eyes and creating creating an entire galaxy under his feet, and with this final shot, it's over. Turning back to reveal the strongest across all 12 universes is the truth with a lie in his hand, because with Goku, it's never over. Gods standing to their feet, mortals gazing in awe, Nirvana has been achieved mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Goku is able to use this mastery of angelic power to crush Jiren and save his universe from destruction. As Goku goes on to learn to tap into this power at will, as characters like Moro break their arm just punching his chest. This is the same Moro stated stronger than the legendary Super Saiyan Broly who can have super dimensional fights with Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and shatter reality accidentally. As the only way to defeat Goku now is to wish for it. As Goku fights against the new strongest in the universe, Granola and the Heater Gas, who sacrificed their lives down to three years and dust, trying to reach Goku's level. Goku even fights against Beast Gohan, who is credited as being the strongest Saiyan in history and had the most powerful battle in the multiverse. But is this enough to face Sun Wukong? Hmm, let's add one more for good measure. Capsule Corp Goku, an alternate version of Goku from Dragon Ball Heroes whose power is beyond literally anything you could possibly imagine. Working through the Time Nest to safeguard all of history and protect life throughout all of creation. As the Time Nest is home to people like Chronoa, who compared to pretty much everyone else in Dragon Ball Heroes is extremely weak, however in full perspective, she's incomprehensibly powerful. While Zeno can erase entire timelines with ease, Chronoa possesses the ability to merge multiple of these timelines together effortlessly and hold up all of creation with her sheer strength alone. She's completely unbounded by time as she controls the entirety of it. As the antagonist Demigra has broken free from his confinements in the crack of time and seeks to destroy and reshape all of history according to his own design. The infinite number of timelines in Dragon Ball Heroes, each containing their own alternate realms and dimensions, transcending the traditional concept of space and time. These timelines including realms that house the Suga Ruku space and hyperbolic time chamber, which the realm itself transcends the concept of space and time, as this is the realm that Goku and Supreme Kai use in their instantaneous movement. With an infinite amount of histories, there are infinite outerversal worlds that Demigra is going to destroy and recreate. Which is crazy considering characters as weak as Evil Ant, Frieza, Cell, and Kid Buu could destroy entire time crystals that represent timelines themselves. As Demigra was even going to destroy the entire time nest and even the parallel quests that extend their own infinite history. As Demigra absorbs Toki Toki, a bird of necessary existence for all of history, the controller of fate and exists beyond all dimensions, responsible for creating all of infinite existence as Demigra has now gained power beyond human comprehension and powers up an attack to end all of history itself. But to everyone's surprise, Capsule Corp Goku withstands the attack and nullifies it before he even knew what any of the godly forms even were, meaning a DBZ CC Goku before any god key can catch an attack that can obliterate infinite outerversal worlds in base. As Goku eventually fights against Mira who surpassed even Demigra in strength, possessing a destructive power capable of obliterating all of space and time contained within the time nest and even with the existence of beings like Toa who can exist outside the flow of all of infinite history cannot escape it. Despite this, Mirror was ultimately defeated by a post-universe 6 saga Super Saiyan Blue Goku without Kaioken. 
as Demiker returns with an even greater power, manifesting into a third form that threatens to destroy the real world. This real world is depicted as existing conceptually higher than the Dragon Ball Heroes universe itself, where the game is viewed as fiction. The conceptual reality difference between the game's dimension and the real world is crazy, as characters like Beat enter the game as an avatar, highlighting the distinction between the game's conceptual dimensions and the physical dimensions of the real world. Even infinite dimensional beings within the game are still only considered a fragment of imagination in the real world, making the real world high outer versal to literally boundless. As Demigo's attempt to destroy this high outer versal realm is shattered by Xeno Goku in base. Capsule Corp Goku is shown stronger than Celius who is capable of resetting Beat's world and Meki Kabuto who can swallow all of the infinite timelines into his body and regenerate endlessly. As Capsule Corp Goku faces off against an even more formidable Xeno Goku, a Xeno Goku's strength is so immense that just by transforming into Super Saiyan 4, he can destroy all the infinite timelines and is able to defeat Black Janemba who was literally stated to be the embodiment of the concept of evil itself and a necessary existence for the entire multiverse, who he himself was able to control dreams to such a great extent that he's able to have a physical form in them. With dreams being devoid of dimensions outside of your control and ideas making it formless and no concepts would be applicable to it by definition. Despite his promise to the Supreme Kai of Time to not use Super Saiyan 4 due to its immense risk, Xeno Goku needs it to defeat Capsule Corp Goku. As Capsule Corp Goku gains a power beyond Blue Gogeta who was previously thought of being capable of confronting the Omni King himself, a being more powerful than the Gods of Destruction who have an ability to annihilate entire timelines and erase Beast's world into nothingness. And even Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who have the ability to defeat Dark Omega Shenron, a being with power to obliterate all of reality effortlessly with just a single finger merging his strength with the universe tree as this ultimate state makes all of creation tremble. Universal Blue Goku With Goku being so strong that he could defeat Fu who can one-shot two fusions at once and transcend into a plane beyond Beat's world and even real Japan that views everything beneath it as fiction. As now you're fighting a god with power beyond conceptually infinite strength, ability beyond fate and miracles, speed that's so fast that it's beyond irrelevant and just by using him in the game, you win. Overall, Son Goku would scale from complex multi to outer versal, and using Dragon Ball Heroes, he would scale from layers into high outer to literally boundless. But now that we have their stats laid out on the table, who would actually win? Sun Wukong having reached perfect nirvana places him far above Super Goku, as not only is he dimensionally higher, but he can make an infinite army of Sun Gokus to fight himself. Sun Wukong just has way too many broken abilities and way too much strength for the original Sun Goku to take care of. Their fight would pretty much go like this. Was that me that shot me? However, when we add CC Goku, it gets a little bit more complicated. CC Goku is not only a high outer versal being, but he's also battled against people with infinite immortality and boundless power and still defeated them in base. He can stack on Kaioken times 100 on top of Super Saiyan forms that would make him octillions of times stronger than he was in base. He's also connected to the Xenoverse games which gives him a plethora of hacks such as boundary manipulation, meaning there's nothing he cannot achieve and can make the impossible possible, as he has the ability to create miracles or destroy them. If you have them on equal footing, this fight can go on for an eternity. However, CC Goku can be scaled up higher as he fights against Fu who entered into the Charisma world which views the entire Dragon Ball Heroes universe as fiction. In the end, I guess it really doesn't matter who you have coming out on top, because it doesn't matter how you translate it, the winner always spells Goku. Hey, what's going on guys, it's Kaz. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you guys never miss an upload. And tell me down below, who do you think would win between Sun Goku and Sun Wukong? And shout out to my brother for hopping on this video with me. I couldn't have done the Wukong scale without him. And if you guys want a video just like this, my cash app will be in the description for you to get one just like this. Make sure you guys check out the TikTok shop and join our Discord server. Anyway, that's it. Love you guys. See ya.